rescue. Another dramatic moment during that flooding when Fowl River Fire Rescue received word that a woman was trapped in this car on Bellingrath Road, not far from where the water rescues were taking place. That drone operator with the Mobile Fire Rescue Department quickly located that car and zoomed in close on the windshield. You just saw that, and at first, it appeared the woman might still be in the car. Well, this afternoon, I checked with Chief John Corradillo of the Fowl River Fire Department, who tells me, yes, a woman was trapped in that car for some time, but she managed to wade through the waist-deep water until she got to higher ground, where a good Samaritan and an ATV picked her up and carried her to safety. It's another reminder for all of us not to drive on a submerged roadway. Chief Cardillo tells me several people did, and this was a result. By now, it should be obvious what a great tool drones can be during an emergency like this. So great, in fact, that Mobile Fire Rescue is making a significant investment in the technology and will soon have a total of three drones strategically placed throughout the city. It's their drone video you've been watching for the past two days. It's a way to quickly assess a large and dangerous situation without putting lives at risk. So anything like uh, yesterday, for instance, uh, mass flooding, um, hazardous material situations where you want to keep your crews and your, your personnel a certain distance away, but we need to be able to assess the scene and the situation. Large area grass fires, brush fires, uh, search and rescues in the woods, in wooded areas, uh, anything like that. The department's drones also feature infrared imaging, which was crucial recently at assessing the situation and keeping firefighters safe during an oil raid fire on the Mobile River.